Now we're gonna take a look at how to make a map in Pico because we, we have this little car driving around and it's cool, but it's really boring just because it's on a black screen. Basically how this works if you're new to tiles is you draw pieces of your map in these little squares. Uh, generally you'll do each piece inside of one of these sprites. These sprites are eight by eight. And so let's just put a solid color here just so we can see things. This would be like tile one, this would be tile two, right? And once we have our sprites made, we can go over to the map editor and we can draw shapes for our map using these tiles that we've made in our sprite editor. So rather than draw an entire huge map, we just draw pieces and we kind of repeat them. So let's switch back over to the sprite editor. I'll get rid of these and let's just start, I don't know, maybe over here just so this is just kind of physically away from our other sprites. There's no real reason you can do this wherever you want, but I'll start by filling this in with green. Let's say we have some grass. We'll make another one here that's gray, and maybe we're making a little road. Something like that with the little lines. Let's actually do this. Let's go ahead and add some green here so that this gray is the same on this side and this side. And now let's say I want this to kind of curve. So why don't we go ahead, I'll select this and hit Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste it in this tile below this one. But I'm gonna modify this so that it's like a curve. Let's do something like this, get rid of this white. Okay, now we have a little curve. Let's fill this with green. Yeah, let's fill it with gray and then do this. So now we have just the pieces that we can build a probably just about a whole map out of. So let's switch over to our map editor and I'll just paint bucket everything, make sure it's green like that. And then I can take the draw tool and select whatever I wanna draw with. And I can make a little road like this. And then we can kind of start drawing things. Now, one thing that's kind of weird about the map editor is that this palette down here where we have all of our sprites and everything, that is over the actual map. And so if we go over to this button up here, we can see there's more to the map that's actually gonna be on the screen. And you can actually zoom out. If you roll down with your mouse, you can middle button mouse click, like click down on the scroll wheel and grab it to move it around. But I can even take this green tile and the paint bucket and just fill this in with a paint bucket. So now we have this huge green space and eventually we'll make this so we can kind of move around, move off of our first screen and have the camera follow our sprite and everything. But for now, this is just fine. I'll just zoom back in, just roll in with the scroll wheel and that looks great. So now if I hit control R, wait, it's still not there. Well, the reason for that is because we haven't told Pico to actually draw this map. We've given it a map, we've defined what the map looks like, but we haven't told it in our code to actually draw it. In our draw code here, under function draw, we have clear screen, and then we have it drawing our sprite. So what we wanna do is draw the map before we draw our sprite, because we want our sprite to be on top of the map. So that's gonna be after we clear the screen, we're gonna draw a map. And so we surprisingly just say MAP, and then two parentheses, and that will draw the map by default in the upper left-hand corner. So now we control S to save, control R to run, and there's our map. Pretty cool. So we don't have anything fancy working right now, but it does look a lot better than it did, and we can add whatever features we want to the map. But that's pretty much how it works. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be posting more videos on Pico 8 game development, starting with the very basics, so make sure to sub.